Hello, 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 everybody. Hi, it's Tuesday. How to Tuesday. So, my name is Eve. This is Eve's Creations Paint Party, and tonight is a practice session. Yes. So, there's not an actual painting. Uh, we're going to be practicing bridges. Yep, everything um, I can show you about bridges. I'm a self taught painter. I've been painting for, gosh, a long time <laughs> 30 plus years, and uh, I hope that I could show you something tonight that might help make your creations that much better. All right, so say hello, hello, hello if you're practicing with me tonight. And, of course, we have to give props to you know who. -who. Yes. Where is he? There he is. Hey, buddy. What you doing? <laughs> you being a good boy? Say hi to your fans. <laughs> Say hi to your fans. Oh, that's a good boy. Stretch it out. <laughs> Hello, 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 Tina M. How you doing, sweetie? I got a surprise for you, Tina. Yes, I do. Hello, 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 Tammy. How you doing, lovey? What's going on, guys? Let me show you my handy-dandy table. I'm actually prepared. I'm all ready, ready, ready. I got my paint. Same colors every single party. We got the blue, the yellow, the red, the black, and the white. Of course, my water brushes i don't know i'll tell you what i'm using when i go to use it right so you want to swirl you want to tap you want to dab to clean off your brushes you want your bristles to be wet but not dripping hello 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 sharon how you doing sweetheart sharon's in the house oh yeah so i'm gonna put you guys in your handy dandy holder um just to let you know hey 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 tina b um it's always free to watch tips are appreciated those links I have Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. Those links are on the event page um, to be able to find them because I can't comment on my videos anymore. Well, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. And, uh, of course, stars is enabled, so you guys can just tap on stars if you'd like to, too. And um, so, anyway, always kid-friendly, so I'll try to watch this. You try to watch that, and we'll be good to go. All right, love when the kiddos paint. Oh, yeah. All right. So, I'm going to put you in your handy-dandy holder. You guys always like when I uh, throw something on here real fast. So, um, that's what I'm going to do. All right, tonight is bridges, 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 bridges. And, you know, I did this because you know what's on Friday. You know what we're painting Friday, right, guys? That's right, we're painting a bridge. <laughs> so, Friday's painting is the covered bridge. And I'm like, all right, well, maybe... Maybe, right? Friday's painting, guys. Yes! I hope you have your smushy brushes ready. Lots of smushing. Um, I was like, maybe I should go over a few things. So that's what we're going to do. But let me throw something on here real fast while everybody else gets set up. You like that, huh, Tina B? Yes, right. So, Eve, since you guys uh, gave me a little vacay, I uh, was able to catch up mustard on her own stuff. So I have lots of paintings coming up. All right, so I'm just going to, I got big boy, one inch flat. I'm grabbing white, and I'm going to grab blue, and we're going to throw a sky. All right, so white and blue, I'm just going across. And uh, so, anywho, um, to show you bridges, I got to... Um, I gotta get some water on this bad boy, right? So, but we need a background first. So, just grabbing white and blue. Um, what I want to tell you about bridges is that honestly, painting the details of a bridge isn't that hard, right? So, you can go on Google Images and you can turn around and look up what a bridge looks like, and you can see all the details in the bridge and. You know where the road part is and the brackets and, you know, depending if you're doing um, a bridge that's just out in the forest or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Those landscape bridges are like a Monet bridge that has just the little arch to it. Or if you're doing a big city bridge, right? Or a covered bridge like we're going to be doing. So the details of a bridge, though some might be tricky... You guys can turn around and get the details of a bridge. The um, the thing that is difficult, and I know you guys hate this word, but the thing that is difficult is getting it in perspective. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, hey, hey, Sharon's here. Hello, Sharon. Uh, hello, Tina B, beautiful cover bridge. Hi, Punky, how you doing? You're right, Punky, you got time. You got time, sweetheart. I remembered your name. <laughs> Artist is here. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing, baby? I know you uh, messaged me. Things are a little nutty over at the artist's uh, residence. That's okay. You're here now. That's cool. Welcome, sweetheart. And um, you got time to set up. And Cynthia's hanging out with us. Oh, yeah. Cynthia's is just a how-to. You can catch up mustard. That's right. <laughs> That's right, Tina B. Cynthia's hanging out with us. Hello, 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 Cynthia. You got plenty of time. Plenty of time. All I did was grab blue and white paint so far. <laughs> I didn't do nothing special. There's nothing special going on. Absolutely not. So, I'm going to grab a whole lot of extra white. All right, my brush is still dirty. I'm grabbing a whole lot of extra white. Just to uh, get some wet paint on this canvas. I know it's going to dry before I even get to it, but that's okay. Just filling it in where my water is going to be for the most part. For the most part, shroom, I'll put it going down this way. Right? Shroom, I'm going to put it going down this way. So I want to, I'm just kind of telling myself where my water is going to be. And uh, getting it all set up so I can show you guys all different kinds of bridges. Shroom. Let me make that a little bit bigger. Right? Because bridges go over water, right guys? <laughs> bridges go over water. 6,000%. Alright, and I want a piece that's uh, facing us. So I need to maybe start my stream up here. Right? Have that piece. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where I could put bridges where to show you guys all the different kinds. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how to put the water so I can show you different types of bridges. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, time to do land. I'm going to put my brush in the water. Punky, you're doing your nails? That's okay. So I'm going to grab my fluffy, okay, beat up bristly brush and get some land on here. I'm going to grab some, um, let's see, let's grab some uh, red, yellow, and white. Let's grab some red, yellow, and white. Yep, you're going to be a, a watcher. Watcher is fine. I don't like that piece of water I put up here, so I'm going to get rid of it. So, I'm just grabbing red, yellow, and white. Uh, it's going to mix in with my blue, which is fine. My blue is um, really wet. And I'm just pushing in some uh, background here. And I don't mind if it mixes in with my blue, because remember, guys, when we did foliage, the stuff in the back should be darker anyway. Remember that? So, we want to make sure that the stuff in the back is darker. And so, I don't mind that it's mixing in with my blue because that's just going to make it darker and I'm really just punching this in here I'm not doing anything special I'm just punching it in here I don't like that little piece of water I made over there so I'm going to cover that up that's the best thing about painting right if you don't like something especially with acrylic paint oils you can't really do it um, with acrylic paint is if you don't like something you can just cover it right up uh, that's the cool part that's the best part about painting. All right, so I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to punch in uh, down lower than I actually want it, All right? Because this is going to be my uh, reflection. So we're going to punch this in down lower. If you notice, I'm kind of pushing straight down. I'm going to do that trick too, but I'm just getting some color in here. All right, put Fluffy away, grab my big boy, swirl, tap, dab. Swirl, tap, dab, my big boy. Da, 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 right? And I'm going to turn around and pull. 
We're pulling. Pull, 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 pull. Right? Because we need... Um, to have land over here so our bridges can go to our land. And I'm going to swipe, sideways swipe. Sideways swipe. There we go. Shroomf, 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 shroomf. And just like that, guys. All right, let's put a little bit of uh, shoreline. Da, 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 da. I'm just going to grab some black just for the sake of doing this quickly. Put our little shoreline in. Ba, 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 da, ba. And there we have it. All right, so we've got land for our bridges to go to. Now we need uh, land for our bridges to come from. So I'll tap dab. At home late tonight, I had to get to the food, and uh, that should be... <laughs> it's all good, Punky. Hi, Lisa V. How you doing, sweetheart? Lisa V's in the house. Oh, yeah. So... I need land for my bridges to uh, come from. So, we're going to throw that in there. All right. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys. Right? You guys can do this. You can do this. No worries. Right? We're just pushing and smushing and doing all sorts of happy stuff. That's all we're doing. So, like I was saying before, is um the thing with bridges is not really what they look like it's getting your perspective incorrectly i know that word perspective okay so perspective right basically having um having focal points having a direction in which your things are going in um you know having your vanishing point which is basically the uh where everything's going. I mean, like, we're not going to get too technical with it. I'm just going to show you how to do it. <laughs> as best as that I can. Yeah, I'm just going to show you how to do it. I'm going to add a little bit of blue to this. A little bit of blue to this red, yellow, and white. Get something a little different going on down here. And then I'll be all set to show you do, 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 do. your bridges because we have land on both sides of water right you need water for bridges so that's what we do that's what we do and, and punky can't paint with us because she's too busy painting her nails <laughs> and lisa v just chimed on and we got all sorts of friends and family on tonight which i love it thank you guys so much you all warm my heart appreciate it and uh is what it is now I got uh, bristles on here you know if you get bristles on your painting if you take your brush and just do like a push upwards you can usually get them to lift and then you can just wipe it off your brush all right so just a little tidbit for you guys if you get bristles on your painting if you just do a little like like shovel like that you can usually get them to lift up and you'll be all set all right. Whoo, Carolyn's here. Hello, 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 Carolyn. How you doing, sweetheart? Carolyn's here and Lisa's here. We got our fam all together tonight. I love it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so we got Tina M and Tammy and Sharon and Tina B and Punky's hanging out with us tonight. Artist is here. Oh, yeah, Cynthia, Carolyn, and Lisa. So those of you who are practicing along with me, I'll give you a chance to catch up mustard. No worries. Okay, and uh, we're going to turn around and I have to um, put some bridges in. <laughs> Cat hair too. Yes, Tina B. Any sorts of hairs. <laughs> so yesterday, I was painting my spare room. The room that's going to wind up having all of... Um, this stuff laying around in my house that you've seen in my videos is because my my spare room is gutted right now and I was painting the floor and Mr. Butters <laughs> decided to walk across it yeah I had his little paw prints all on my floor all right so 
First one I'm going to show you is, um, I'm going to show you the easy bridge, right? The straight across bridge. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Now, the straight across bridge is just what it is. So I'm swirl tap dab and big boy. And I'm going to come over here where my water. <laughs> yeah, he walked across. That's okay, though. <laughs> he just wanted to be a part of. He just wanted to hang out and be a part of. So, I turn around, and I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to grab some black with big boy, and I'm going to grab that red, yellow mess right here. I'm going to grab some of that. Okay, grab a little bit more black. All right, we need the straight across bridge. Okay, so I'm going to get my brush nice and thin and straight by wiping along my, my palette and shroom, right? Hold your brush back here. Fast you go, straighter will be. Bam, straight across bridge. Okay, so now this bridge has to connect to the land. So you're going to turn around and you want to put one of these in there. So it connects to your land, and then you could turn around and put this straight down, right? Fill that in. Now, that was easy peasy enough, right, guys? Just, uh, bam, just like that, you have a bridge. And you can add whatever details you want. So you just want to make sure you have, like, the bracket in the corner connecting the bridge to your land. And then if you're going to do a road off of that, you can just extend this out and... Do whatever you want to do as far as squiggly is concerned. And the thing about this is you want to put shadow in. You're going to put shadow in like underneath this part. All right. So you want to make that into shadow. So I just grabbed some black paint. That's all I did. That's all I did. And then you could turn around and do a little shadow along the bottom. So I'm just grabbing some black paint. And you want to do like a little shadow across the bottom. And then you can do whatever details you want to do on top, okay? So you can do whatever you want. It's your bridge. You can give it brackets. You can turn around and give it railings, whatever you want to do. Now, you've seen these same type of bridges, and sometimes you've seen them. I'm grabbing that same brownish color, peach, whatever I made here, right? So sometimes you see them arching. Which is fine. You could turn around and do an arching bridge, right? Okay, so you have a bridge that's doing an arch, right? Those little walking bridges that are across pathways and stuff like that. So you're just going to turn around and draw an arch. And again, I like to put the bracket in, right? So you want to turn around and I put the bracket in. Because I think it just connects it better with everything else going on. And now I'm going to grab my black paint. And I'm going to put a shadow. I'm going to put a shadow in here. Okay. So just grab black paint. That's all I did. And then I'm going to put a little shadow underneath. Underneath. Alright. Just like that. Okay guys. So that's how you would do one of those arched walking bridges easy peasy lemon squeezy and then like i said you can decorate it any way you want it because it's it's like flat so you could turn around and put the the railings in right just doing lines downwards and then you could put the handrail in following that same curve so you can do whatever your little heart desires as far as those bridges are concerned. Hello, hello, Kristen. How you doing, sweetheart? So, whatever you want to do, guys, that is totally up to you. Okay? Now, in the water, there'd be a reflection of the bridge, right? So, down in here, unless your water is moving. Unless it's, like, moving and, and, and running through. If it's just sedentary, though, there would be a reflection. So you want to turn around and the reflection, you're just going to put some dark in. You're just going to put some dark in under the bridge. Okay, and now I'm going to take, if you notice, I just zigzag zoomed my brush with the dark color on it. I didn't do nothing special. 
And then I'm going to grab um, a dry brush and I'm going to pull, right? You pull down and then wipe across to soften it. Okay, so then you could do your reflection of your bridge. All right, 6,000%. So there you go. Okay, so you have your straight across and you have your arched bridge. It's all good. All right, so the next one I want to show you is obviously the ones that use. Um, I want to show you the ones where your it's feet. <laughs> It's facing you like you're ready to walk across it. It is straight in front of you. <laughs> I couldn't find the words to say that. That's why I started laughing. All right, so we're going to do that over here. But well, let me give you guys a chance to catch up mustard if you're doing these two. <laughs> All right. I'm like, how, what, what am I trying to say? I got to get the mouth working. <laughs> Trust me, the mouth works. I just got to get it saying the right thing. <laughs> That's for sure. That is for sure. So, we had snow and rain this weekend. I hope everybody had a really good weekend. All right. So, the one that is face, facing you, like you're ready to walk across it. All right. So, that one, that one has the vanishing part. Okay. So, ooh, that's wet. <laughs> <laughs> that's so wet. Look at that. Um, so what you're going to do is I'm going to take that same paint I had before, this light bright grayish brown, whatever it's going on here, right? That black and white and yellow and red that I mixed. And you want to turn around and you can make a straight line. You can make a straight line. Right? Just drop it down swoop, of where your bridge is going to be. All right, let's bring this further into the land, okay, because it has to start on land, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to make that into a triangle. You're going to make that into a triangle. So this way, it's going further away from you. Right, it's going further away from you. All right, so you just make a triangle. That's all you need to do. Because it's going to be really wide. It's going to be really wide where you're standing. And then it's going to get smaller as it goes further away. Okay, guys? See that? You see how, like, you can just... I'm trying to, I'm being uh, OCD about this line right here. Hold on a second. <laughs> I was being a little OCD. So you guys can see, right? Now it's going away from you. It's going away from you. Okay? You can tell. It looks like it. And then um, the next thing I would do, I'm grabbing my black paint. I'm pulling it nice and thin on the side of my palette. Get a nice thin line of black paint on my brush. And the next thing I would do is if I could see this from the side, sometimes you can't, sometimes you leave it alone, but say you can see the side of it, I would just put the shadow line running down the one side. Okay, but you want to make sure that you're leaving your triangle. Alright, so sometimes you can see the shadow from the side, sometimes you can't. It's your world. Now this, again, you're going to have it be really thin up here, and then have it get bigger as you get closer to you. Okay, guys? Remember we learned all that when we did the perspective video? Alright, so the, even the line is going to be smaller here, and then get wider as you bring it closer to you all right so that is how that works and then if you want to put let me switch to a smaller brush um if you're going to put railings or girders or i think what are they called girders <laughs> 
That's a really nice way to describe a vanishing point. <laughs> Thanks, Carolyn. <laughs> now that I kind of found my words. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Um, yeah, so a vanishing point, basically it's just the point where things are going to, but you don't actually, you know, it just goes, it vanishes. Just goes, you know, it's not, whatever. It's really there. And, uh. You know, also, um, I like to call, uh, see, I like to use the word focal point because it's kind of where you want your eye to focus to, like, see how this is drawing your eye into that area, but everybody, um, describes things different. So I'm going to grab, um, a smaller brush here. I got lots of brushes working already. My cup has like three brushes in it. All right. So I'm just grabbing a half inch flat. No worries. It's all good. Same thing as Big Boy, except it's half the size. I'm going to grab some black paint. And if you do railings, the railings are going to get bigger as they come to you. So this could be a little tricky because you have to make sure you line them up to where they're not running into each other. All right, so I always start with the little guy back there. All right, he's going to be really little. And then I move down to where I know if I put my brush on here, it's gonna have a space in between there. So I move down and then this guy is gonna be a little longer, all right? And then I'm gonna move down to make sure that when I draw this, there's gonna be a space in there, all right? And then this guy is gonna be even longer, okay? And your spaces, you want your spaces to get further apart. See how this is only like the width of my brush? And then this one's getting a little wider. Now, that should happen organically because, like I said, you're moving down to where you want to draw your line. But if it's not, let me move you guys a little closer. There we go. There we go. Now you can see what I'm doing. All right. So it should happen organically because you got to move down and make sure you have room to draw the line. But if it doesn't, you want, see how thin this is, and then it's a little longer, and then it's even longer? That's what you want to do, okay? And see my lines here? That's really short. That's a little longer. That's a little longer. And then that's the longest line. You want to make sure you're capturing that. And then you could turn around and put a little rope in if you want to. But you got to make sure that if you're doing the rope, it's following the same angle or bracket or railing it came out a little thick so I'm gonna do a railing instead alright you wanna make sure that you're following the same angle as your bridge as you put that in alright that came out really messy but that's okay <laughs> that is okay it is all good messy 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 I'm just going to make it a wall. <laughs> now we have a wall. I'll put my railings back in on my wall. <laughs> Grabbing white paint. i just make it a wall. There. That way nobody falls off the bridge. There we go. Nobody falls off the bridge. But you guys can see that this is angling towards that same point. Okay. So, you want to make sure, like, so this is angling towards that point, this one, that line, and this line is all angling to that point. Okay, guys? So, it's, it's, it's easier than uh, how I'm making it sound, because I'm making it sound really tricky, but it's not tricky at all. You're going to draw a triangle. You can draw a line down your triangle. You just make sure it gets wider as you get to the front. You do your railings right it's a tiny one here move down to make sure you can fit the next one in move down fit the next one in move down fit the next one in okay these are going to get longer as you come towards you and the spaces are going to be further apart okay and then if you do a railing you got to make sure it's going the angle is going to point to that same point right back here this point that we can't see like Carolyn said it's a vanishing point but whatever you want to call it doesn't really matter all that technical stuff doesn't matter as long as you get 
as long as you get what you're doing, <laughs> as long as you understand how to paint it, I don't think you need to know the words, all those technical words. Sometimes it's nice to know the words. I just made a fresh cup of coffee. Oh, yeah. So, 6,000%. You guys can totally do that. It's not that difficult. You're just drawing a triangle. You're just drawing triangles. That's it. And, you, and you're making sure that all of those triangles angle to that point that's in the distance. So, everything is wider down here and more narrow up there. That's it. That is the whole deal of making one that's coming towards you. 6,000%. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, guys. You guys got this. Okay. So, the next bridge I want to show you is kind of the same thing, but it's not, it's not straight going away from you. It's not like you're standing here and you're about to walk over the bridge. It's going to be at an angle going that way. So that's the next one I want to show you. Now that I got my Java, I can totally show you. <laughs> I'm ready now. Okay. So, uh, swirl tap that big boy. Let me move you out here. Hey, everybody. Hi. So, just remember, it's always free to watch. Tips are appreciated, and the tip links, since I can't comment, are on the event page. Thank you very much. Thank you for your support. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight, because you know you all warm my heart. I love you bunches. And the main thing you have to remember is just to have fun with this, because it's acrylic. Dry paint right over it so if you screw up that's all right it's all good all right so I'm swirl tap dab and big boy and the next thing I want to do is one that is moving away from you right so let's get our line in there first always draw your line in always draw your guideline in okay so I'm just grabbing that I'm grabbing some black and let's make this kind of purpley. I'm grabbing some blue. I'm grabbing some red. I'm grabbing some black. And I'm going to come over here. Dab, dab, dab. Right? Nice and thin on my brush. Pull my brush across my palette. Nice and thin. Okay? And let's draw our first line. Notice I'm holding back here. Straight up against the canvas. Shroom. There's our line. Alright? Now, your other line... You want to do the same thing, but instead of instead of it being straight across from you, now it's over here somewhere. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing. You're going to draw a triangle. It's just going to be on the, on its side. That's all. Okay, so you're still drawing a triangle. It's just on its side, and you're just making it bigger as you get closer to you. All right, that's all you're doing. All right. And I'm going to grab some um, of that color that I made. And I'm going to grab some white. And I'm going to color this in. Okay. So, you're going to turn around and do the same thing. It's just at an angle. It's that simple, guys. It is that simple. Same exact thing. It's just at an angle. Thank you, Punky. You do a great job at explaining it. I always thought they were harder than what they were. No, not really. <laughs> it's all good, though, because they look tricky. They do look tricky. Absolutely 6,000%. But you guys can do this. That's why I show you. Hey, 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 Tracy's here. She made it. <laughs> Hello, 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 Tracy. How you doing, sweetie? Some of them can get tricky. I'm going to show you a tricky one in a minute. All right. Now, like I said, if you can see, you can see this from the side. Say you're walking along, do, 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 and you can see the side of this bridge. I'm just going to grab my black paint, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm holding it really close so I get this right, and I'm just going to 
Tiny, tiny, tiny. Press a little harder. Press a little harder. Press a little harder. See that? Bam. There's your line. <laughs> okay. So, now, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put wood planks in here. Okay. Say so this is um, a wooden bridge. Right? Nice and flat wooden bridge. You'll see in nature. So, I'm going to wipe off big boy. I'm going to put him in the water. And I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab Mini Me. I'm going to grab Mini Me. He's um, a tiny shader brush. He has a nice flat edge to him. He has a nice flat edge to him. And we're going to put the wooden planks in here. So, starting back here, okay, I'm just going to grab some black paint because you're not really going to see much all the way over there. Heck, I can't see much all the way here. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes are going so you're not gonna see anything over there because I can hardly see anything right up on it close to me <laughs> the one day I lost my glasses and they were on my head <laughs> all right so I'm grabbing mini me and black paint I'm gonna come back in here and you want your lines straight across okay you want your lines straight across so you're gonna put these in now it's the same thing you're going to leave more of a space the closer you get to yourself, okay? So you want to leave more of a space as you get closer to where you're standing. See that? And now it looks like it's going whoop, far away, all right? And all I did was draw my lines straight across and I, and I made more of a space in between them as I worked my way forward, okay? And once you have those in, say you want thin boards, right? Say you don't want it looking like cement because this, like um, this is like a city sidewalk. That's what this looks like. <laughs> You've done that with your glasses? <laughs> right? Say you want these wooden planks, like I said in the beginning. So draw some in. Get your guide going on, and then you could turn around and just draw ones. I really should be using Nifty for this. Okay, don't be lazy, Eve. Grab the other brush. <laughs> Grab a Nifty. Okay, so then you could turn around and draw lines in between these to get everything thinner. Right, so just go in the middle. Go in the middle. Go in the middle of your initial lines. So if you go in the center of them, these lines are going to space accordingly too. So if you want to turn around and make this thinner and thinner to have it more like wooden planks and not a city sidewalk, and go in the middle. And if you want to get really nutty and make them even thinner, you can go in the middle of those. So back here is just going to start looking black. That's all there is to it because they're just too close together, right? So if you want to get them really, really tiny, you can just go in the middle of those lines now. 6,000%, guys. Easy peasy. You guys got this. You can turn around and make a bridge with wooden planks on it. You just go in the middle of those lines now. So you draw your initial lines in. You make sure that they're spaced further and further away. And then just keep cutting them in half until you get the size of board that you want. That's all there is to it. Okay, and then if you want to add detail to your wooden planks, you turn around and let me see, I want to grab some of uh, this this purpley color and I'm going to grab some white that grayish purpley black thing I make color I made before all right I'm going to grab some white and this plank is going to have the most detail in it so let's let's go some zigzag zoom action also this is a good way if you turn around and made one of your lines way too thick okay now I'm just going to grab some black do a little zigzag zoom action through that Okay, and then I'm going to move to the next one. 
Okay, do a little zigzag zoom action, grab some white. Okay, if you notice, all of it is going straight across. All right, grab the darker color, go to the next one, fill it in, grab some white, zigzag zoom, straight across. Okay, and if you lose your lines when your paint dries, you can turn around and put them back in. I'll put them back in just to put them back in, but you can also do, you know, if you don't want to do each board separately, you could actually do all the detail first and then put the lines in afterwards. The only thing to remember is as you get further away, it's going to be darker and darker. So as you get further away, it's going to get darker. Or as you get towards you, it's going to get lighter. Right? So you can turn around and do all the detail first. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Just remember, it gets darker and darker the, fur more, the further away you go. The more further. Oh, yes, I said it. The more further. <laughs> The more further that you go. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> Good. Right? No worries. We can totally do that. So, the thing I want to show you now, and we're going to use, um, I'm going to do one angled the other way, because I want to show you exactly what we're going to do on Friday. See this guy? I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do on Friday. So, I want to do one the other direction. Because you can pick whatever direction you want these going to, and I'm going to put the covering over it. Okay, guys, 6,000%. You still with me? Woo, we got this. Let's do a little roll call. Let's do a little roll call. Tracy's here. She knows it's Tuesday. Kristen's hanging out with us. That's actually how I spell my first name, so that's kind of cool, saying my own name. Tina M. Tammy's hanging out. Sharon, Tina B. Punky's doing her nails. We got artists in the house, Cynthia, Carolyn, and Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me all the time, um, you know, and hanging out as a fam. Because if you weren't here, this wouldn't be happening. So I really do appreciate that 6,000%. All right, so let's do one going the other way. So what's the first thing I'm going to do? All right, I'm going to take Big Boy out, and I'm going to clean him. That's the first thing I'm going to do. What's the first thing I'm going to do with me painting? We're going to draw our guideline, right? Our first line. Nice, clean brush, no globs. Let's grab some uh, blue and some black. Why not? Blue and black. Let's do blue and black this time around. Okay, pull it nice and thin and straight on my brush. I'm going to hold back here, and I'm going to put my guideline in. All right, so let's go over here. We're going at an angle. Shoof. Bam. Just like that. All right? Now I know. Now I know where I'm going. <laughs> Good job, Tina B. <laughs> you got that right. Now I know where I'm going. <laughs> I take the road less traveled. Now where am I? <laughs> we know where we're going now. All right. So then I want to do my other line, right? Make my triangle. I'm going to leave a space over here. And I'm going to run into the other bridge, but that's okay. So, make my triangle. Bam. All right, make my triangle. Just like that. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Okay. So, and the next thing I want to do is, um, I'm going to color this in. I'm going to color this in. Okay, so it's just blue and black. That's all I grabbed. And I'm coloring this in for myself. Okay. And the reason I'm coloring this in is because a lot of people, a lot of people have difficulty with the road on the inside of the covered bridges. So, a lot of people have difficulty with this part right here, and then where it comes out the back. 
okay? So, color this line in, and it's going to be there for you the whole time. All right, and I'm going to go into the land here. All right, into the land here, because that is going to be the extension of the road. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to put the sides of your building. So the sides of your building are all going to be straight lines up and down. Uh-oh, guys, here it comes. We're going to be doing the cube. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right, so let's do a line here. Let's do a line here, okay, and do a line here, and do a line here. All right, so straight up and down lines is all I did. It's all I did, straight up and down lines, okay? Now, I'm going to connect those lines, okay? So we're going to connect. Now, you want everything to go towards that one point, remember? So you want this to go towards that one point. So when you connect these lines, you might have to make this one taller. So when you draw this in, all right, because it's over here somewhere, when you draw this in, if, if you want to like even turn around and fake draw it, but just follow your brush. So you can start like that. And then when you hit that line, Right, so you're going to fake draw it, and the same with this one if you want to fake draw it because it's coming over here somewhere that's all going that way, it's all going that way, disappearing that way. So, this has to be higher, and we're going to draw that in because it's all going somewhere over there. Okay, and then you're going to turn around, and that is the trickiest thing to put in. Once you have this, you're good to go, you really are. Okay, so we're going to turn around and do this straight across. We're going to do this one straight across. It's our cube, people. Uh-oh, scary, scary. But I'm going to grab some white paint and that blue and black I made before. We're going to make this less scary because we're going to paint this wall in. We're going to paint this wall in right here. And you guys will be able to see it better now. Okay, so we're going to paint that wall in. And you can see with it painted in, it's all going that way. This is this is shorter than this one. Okay, they're all going. They're not following the same angle as the road. This is a different angle because it all has to go that way. All right, six thousand percent, kind of like when we did the city buildings. All right, and this is going to be the inside of my house, so I'm going to make that a little darker. I'm going to make this a little darker, the inside of my house, right? Uh, you need, Eve, you need paint on your brush to paint. <laughs> we need paint on our brush to paint. That's what you need. You need to put paint on the brush to paint, guys. If you didn't know that, you know that now. 6,000%. So, all right, I'm going to fix that line up a little bit. I turn around and... Uh, Fill this little corner in. So now, you guys, from coloring this in initially, let me add a little white so you can see the difference between the wall and the road. So, add a little white to this so you can see the difference between the wall and the road. So now, you guys, without even trying, have your road going through this exactly the way it should look instead of turning around and trying to draw this part in later if you draw it in color it and then put your house around it you're going to have it already in there doing the lines that you need it to do okay guys so we need a, a, a roof we need a roof so for my roof i'm going to put my a triangle right here Alright, we're going to put a triangle. See, there's my triangle. And I'm going to uh, turn around. And I'm going to, again, got to go 
that way. So I'm going to put my line in to go that way. Draw my other edge. Now these two, this, and grab white paint so you can see what I'm doing. This and this are going to be the same angle. See that? Bam, bam. And this is going to be going to that spot over here. Okay, color it in. Color it in. And just like that, guys, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you have a covered bridge. Okay, 6,000%. Totally, totally, you can do that. I'll go over what I just did. Because you guys can do this. It's not that difficult. Like Punky said, it looks trickier than what it actually is. So, like Tina B said, you draw your line. Bam. You draw your other line, right? Make yourself a wider here, thinner back there. Color it in. You put one, two, three, four straight lines. You connect them. And just make sure this is going to be shorter, this is going to be longer, right? These two are going to be longer. These two are the same height. This one's going to be tiny. Once you connect them, you can paint this wall in. Then you can paint this little piece in. And then you want to do your roof. You do your triangle, whatever this is. You do the same thing back here, except shorter, right? Because this is this long. This is that long, but it follows the same angle. Can I add pilings under it so it looks like it's over the water? 6,000%. Yes, I can do that, Tina B. No worries. Okay. So if you do, um, and then you just finish coloring it in. Guys, you can totally do this, right? So we did a lot today, and I'm going to do some more. So sticking around. Um, we did our horizontal. We did our horizontal arched one, right? We did our coming towards you. We did our going away from you with the wooden planks, and now we just did a covered one, and Tina B wants to see pilings under it. So the pilings under it are going to follow the same rule as doing a railing, except you're under the bridge. All right, so I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to grab uh, Mini Me. I'm going to grab mini me and I'm going to grab my black paint and let's start back here. So, and a straight line down, straight line down. Okay. And then I'm going to move a little bit closer. All right. And this one needs to be a little longer. And then I'm going to move a little bit closer. Now, what am I going to do, right? I have to make the space between these bigger than the space between that. So this is about a finger, so I'm going to do these about two fingers. Okay. And it's going to be a little bit longer. All right. Now that I have those in, I just got to make them into pilings. You're not going to see the ones on this side because it's too big. It's too big. You think you're going to have issues with that. No, you're not going to have any issues, sweetheart, right? So then this one, I'm going to make a little thicker, right? Give it a little rounded shape at the bottom. This one has to be thicker than that one. Give it a little rounded shape at the bottom. Actually, I didn't even do these on the, the painting for Friday. And then this one, I'm going to make a little thicker, and it has to be thicker than all three. Do a little rounded shape at the bottom. And easy peasy, you can have the pilings going into the water. And all you want to add to those is, I'm going to grab some, um, now, we didn't do the reflection, but you, you can have the reflection of the house in there. I'm just going to grab some white paint. Close up. And what you want to do when anything's in the water, you want to turn around and do... The little water lines. <laughs> do the little water lines. Right? So, I'll do an arch right there under my piling. 
and then I'm just going to do those little circles. So, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll take it. So then you just do those little water circles, which even the water circles have to get bigger and bigger as you move closer. So that's what you want to keep in mind is any detail you put in, the further away it is, smaller and the darker it is. Okay, so I taught this and how to do perspective. We did go over that kind of stuff. But like I said, guys, doing the actual, right, doing the actual bridge is not, the details is not hard. It's, it's uh, getting the bridge to look like it's going away. <laughs> Get out of here, bridge. Go away. Go away. Get out of here. <laughs> so that's what you want to do. All right. Now. I need to find a space. I wanted to show you something else. Um, you know what? I'm going to, uh, you guys are good with this one? I'm going to paint over that one. All right. Just so I can show you one more thing. And this is the tricky one. But this one's a lot of fun to do. So I'm going to show you a tricky one. But it's a lot of fun to do. Okay, guys. So let me cover over this one. Let me grab some white. And some yellow and some red and whatever I got going on and we're gonna cover over this need more white okay need more white we're just gonna cover over this so I can show you a fun one it's a little tricky you guys can do it I have I have confidence in you all right, 6,000%. So I'm going to show you this one. We're going to be all done. So you guys have any questions, ask them now. All right, this is your time to learn stuff. So if you have any art questions at all, you turn around and ask them now. If you want to see anything, ask now because it's the last one I'm doing. Okay, guys? You never took the time to go back to look at pretty. That's okay. <laughs> all right, because I need to let that dry a second. And I'm going to show you the last one, which is a lot of fun. I'll show you the last one. All right. So, I'm going to swirl tap that big boy. And we're going to go in. And instead of a straight line, we're going to do an arching line. Oh, yeah, getting tricky, getting tricky over here. <laughs> You're a trip, Tina B. All right, grabbing my black paint. I'm going to start over here, and I'm going to do an arching line. What? Oh, this is going to be really wicked. All right, but it's going to look cool. Okay, so let's do a hook. So look, I ran out of space. I would, I would do this, like, coming out more, but it's okay. So, and then you want to turn around. And you're going to do another arching line, but you want to follow this up. Again, doing your triangle. You're going to follow this up, doing your triangle. Okay. And then you're going to finish it off over here. So you're just making a smaller hook inside another one. All right. So we have our triangle. And then we have this little piece under here. And this is what's cool about this one. Now, I would have this less steep, okay? I would have it coming, like, over here somewhere, but it's all right. You're still going to learn the same stuff. Okay, I want to grab my uh, white paint with my um, blue and black mixture I got going on. And uh, let's color this in. Shoop. Shoop. Okay, let's color this in. So this bridge going away from you but it's one of those arching bridges and what you're going to do this is the whole trick back here guys everything else is pretty much the same type of um, learning but what's cool is over here let me grab my uh, half inch brush over here you're going to actually see under the bridge 
So I'm going to grab my black paint and I'm going to turn around and fill this in black. See that? And I'll show you a close up of what you do with that right there. So you turn around and I'm going to grab my white paint again and this this you want to follow the arch and have it disappear into the side and then you, you can pull it all the way through too if you want to see the side of the bridge so and you arch that around like that and then you have the piece under the bridge that you're going to see if you were standing over here all right, so easy peasy lemon squeezy guys. All I did was I did an arching line. Bam. Right? Then I did a hook underneath it, this one. And I hooked it around. Then I colored this in the top. And I colored this in the bottom. And that is how you can do an arching bridge going over the water. <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> and then if you want to do your reflection, you can do your reflection. Right? Even the reflection gets bigger as you get closer to you, right? The reflection is going to be under the bridge. Your refraction, if you want to do your refraction. <laughs> All right? And let's see, I got to pull that down. Pull down. Wipe across. And there you have an arching bridge over the water. You are so welcome, Lisa V. Thank you guys so much. Um, I hope that you guys can... Have fun drawing all sorts of bridges now. Uh, you got all sorts of types and things to do. Um, like I said, adding the details is basically all the same thing. Good night, Lisa V. And 6,000%, uh, you can do this. So, always free to watch. Tips are appreciated. The links are on my event page, Cash App, PayPal, and Venmo. I usually can show them here. Can't do comments. I don't know why. It's all good. You can hit stars, star, 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 stars. Those are enabled. And uh, thanks, guys. Uh, this is a lot of fun. I hope you learned. I hope you learned some cool stuff. And I hope you can have fun with this. And we're gonna be all set for Friday. All right, guys. So let me run through with. Oh, Tina M. Awesome, Carolyn. Uh, Tina M. I got a surprise for you. You asked me for a sugar skull. Tina M asked for a sugar skull. So, we're going to have a painting with a sugar skull. Here's your sugar skull. You ready, guys? You ready to see this one? I'm excited about this one. This is going to excite a lot of you, I think. <laughs> no, not you. There's your sugar skull. There we go. Look at that. So, we're going to do Monsters Valentine. Hello. So, I got the Jersey Devil going on. I had to research what they say the Jersey Devil looks like. And we've got a good old uh, Medusa hanging out, ready to grab her Sugar Skull Valentine present. So, that is going to be... Da, 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 da. This painting is going to be the 28th. The 28th. We're doing Monsters Valentine. Yes! <laughs> and if you don't want to do the monsters... Oh, you didn't ask for a sugar skull? Somebody asked me for a sugar skull. A sugar skull and a um, sun, uh, dream catcher. I don't know. Maybe Tina B. I have no idea. Anyway, there's the sugar skull. So, whoever asked me, there you guys go. Not you either? Who asked me? Somebody asked me for a sugar skull and a dream catcher. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I don't know who it was then. I could have sworn it was you, Tina M. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> All right. Anyway, 
The 28th, Monsters Valentine. Yes, so if you don't want to do the monsters, you can just do the skull. Whatever you guys want to do. It's all good. If you don't want to do the Jersey Devil, you can just do Medusa. Wow. She's coming to get you. <laughs> Thank you, Tina B. I figured you were going to like it. So we're going to throw some Monsters Valentine in there. And uh, this Friday, you guys know Covered Bridge. And next Friday is... Uh, so this Friday's Cover Bridge, the 21st is our llamas. Our la you like it a lot. <laughs> I like it a lot too. The 21st is our llamas, our llama love going on here. And I, I yes, I spelt llama wrong. I know. <laughs> uh, the 28th. The 28th is the Monsters Valentine. The 28th is the Monsters Valentine. And then um, the 4th, may the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. Is the Rainbow Garden. Looking forward to this Friday in the llamas. Excellent, Tina M. <laughs> yes, I spelt llama. The llama I spelt was the Dalai Lama. The llama we're painting that Friday is the animal llama, which should be two L's. So, and then we're going to do uh, Rainbow Garden. So you guys get to do your fence. Your hubby loves the garden. You get to do, and of course we have a little lovebirds. So you guys will get to see doing the fence because you guys have been asking me about a fence. He saw the pic. He loves the uh, rainbow garden. So, and you guys can do your rainbow garden any colors you want to. You don't have to do rainbow. So anything you guys want to do, you can do. It's all good. 6,000%. This coffee is delicious. So, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel. Everything is on YouTube. East Creations Paint Party on YouTube. Uh, replay is available on my page, of course. And um, I'm going to start doing TikTok videos, guys. Any of you that do TikTok, um, I got to, I'll get there. <laughs> I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to figure out how I want to go about that. So, Oh, uh, thank you, Tina B. I appreciate it. Yes, if you guys... Good night, Tina M. Bye, sweetheart. Uh, yeah, if you guys, you know, monetary isn't your thing right now, share, share, share away. You hit that share button. It just makes our family bigger. So 6,000% share away, okay? Hit that share button. Look, so I dyed my hair, and I got my fingers orange. <laughs> So, seems like I have to dye my hair a little more often than I'd like to. But, it is what it is. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Alright, so, you guys are all set for Friday now. You know, you know how to do it. You know how to do it. So, we're going to do it up. Make sure you have your fluffies. That's okay, Tina B. It's all good. You can always go back and try again. Don't, you know, have fun. Don't get frustrated. It's okay. You'll figure it out. Oh, no girly stuff. Oh, you mean you gave up with fixing your hair. <laughs> I thought you meant you gave up with practicing. <laughs> I rarely go out, too. But I, I do these, I do the videos, so I have to kind of... Keep it going. Keeps me motivated. <laughs> I thought you meant gave up practicing. That's hysterical. <laughs> uh, so, if you guys don't have any more questions for me and you're all set, I'm going to say bye-bye. <laughs> now you'll always practice. That's good. You know, the more you paint, the better you get. That's all there is to it. All there is to it. Facts. The more you paint, the better you'll get. Good night, Tina B. Punky, you're going to practice those bridges now, and I 
that I know it's much easier than it looks. Yes, Punky, you can totally do it. You got the 6,000%. No worries. You can totally do these bridges now. This one's my favorite. <laughs> the hook bridge. But they're all good. They're all good. You guys can do whatever you want. Good night, artists. I'm so glad to see you on, sweetheart. I hope everything gets nice and peaceful for you soon. All right, guys, on that note, I'm going to say good night. So thank you so much for watching me tonight. Y'all warm my heart and have fun and go create. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye.